Okay guys, it has, uh, it has come to my attention that the problem that I was having last week with my PlayStation, a couple other people may be having the problem, so uh, I am going to be making a video now, a tutorial video, sorry I'll show you guys my face, on um, how to fix it kinda on some of the PlayStations because I know what I did fixed my problem but there are some reports of people who have done the same thing as me and it hasn't fixed it so um, I don't know maybe it will for you maybe it won't but I'm gonna post a video anyway because we're not gonna get anywhere if you don't so here's my PlayStation what you're gonna wanna do of course unplug all the cords if I can now I'll pick it up and put it on that what you're gonna wanna do is Alright, here's the front of the PlayStation. Go over to the side, and right here, there should be a little, like a warranty sticker or something like that. You take that off, it's probably gonna, you're probably gonna need a knife or something, because that thing's on there pretty good. And then there's a little tab right here. You take this tab out, and inside, there's going to be a hex screw. I can't remember what size you're going to need, but you're going to need a hex screw. I broke mine, actually, because I tore this cover piece off. But when you take that screw out, what you'll do is this whole top will slide down, and then it will easily lift off from the top of your PlayStation. Set that aside. And now what you're going to need to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in the top. I, at this point in time, I used a 1 8 flathead screwdriver to get all these out, which I am not 100% sure I can do. Alright, I guess I'll make this part 1 and part 2 because um, I'm going to need to take all these screws out first and I don't want to put that in the video. So this is part 1, I'll upload it now. Come back for part 2 and... It'll be once this is off, and I'll show you what to do on the inside to fix a PlayStation.